to the real stuff we want to talk about weapon tuning um i kind of like the overall weapon tuning it seemed like they did what i what i thought they needed to do here uh but i almost don't think they took it far enough so Their i think we'll see a quick here was, tuning was very pr speak to me after examining weapon tuning in season one we want to offer more value for players by a elevating the pros and reducing the cons of tuning attributes. We are committed to making the system more rewarding for players going forward without sacrificing overall weapon balance across the game. The results of this adjustment will generally be felt as an increase in the overall impact of attachments with the effects of attachment tuning becoming more significant. So it just seems like they're putting more emphasis into that whole uh, tuning part of everything. Well, they which... need to make the tuning part worth wild, and I think they they've they've had to re they've had to retract like everything that they've had in the game. They're like, please God, we need one thing to stick, and the tuning is as well. Because I like the tuning, but I always forget to tune it. Yeah, I, it's just to, like I was watching Mercs the other day, and he was like, man, I remember miss the old days where he had like five attachments. This was the gun. You put five things on there. Like, let's just play. This is arcade shooter but now i mean they're trying to make their guns like their tarkov guns but we're still playing on super high speed fast cod movement yeah but it's a little much for me are i'm basic but i also don't think you have to like tune anything to be competitive you can just throw the attachments on and be done with it like no, people are already but doing this is what it. i'm saying i think that they're making it more significant where it really is going to make a difference I mean, we'll see. Time will tell. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, like what, but what, how significant is it going to be when you figure out the meta? Everyone's going to play meta. Like it, it's not, if the tuning can make it to where I can play any weapon I want in the game could be meta, then I'm fine. Because then I think you can balance the guns out and people have the opportunity to play the weapons that they like or the way they want it to look and all those different things. I hated playing the RPK, hated it hate every bit of it to the point to where i didn't play it i played the ak because i just didn't like the gun I didn't like the way it looked I didn't like how slow it was there's was nothing you could do to that but if i could take the rpk i could have made it more ak like but then i don't have the full round cap, cap capacity that i wanted and things like that so if the tuning can get me to where i can balance the guns out and, and people can play across the board and it makes it to, to where their tuning doesn't have to be a spot on then I think we're in the right place. But I think for casual play, it is a little overwhelming. Yeah. For someone that plays as much as you do, you should be able to understand it. You yeah, play Tarkov I understand by watching start to understand it. it. Yep, yeah, yeah. My understanding so, of Tarkov was, Ender, what gun should I use? And my understanding of Call of Duty is, what's Jay God's latest video? Okay, so there's no reason to worry about it. So I'm just copying and pasting. Employed. What's the difference? Yeah, but they're employed now. So there yeah, you go. Great. Jay God has some more I'm videos. them out. Sure, we want to help out other creators. Like, I'm fine with that. And if he wants to go figure it all out and I'm going to use it, then I'm good with that. Yeah. I think you're just complaining. I am. All right. All right. Weapon tuning balancing. Weapon balancing. Been enabled. Hold on. The tuning oh. has been enabled for the laser attachments. That's what so we wanted. Now you can tune for... Well, I did I did not understand why you couldn't tune for laser. So now what you can do What am I tuning? It. The intensity of it? Yeah, if I can tune it to where the laser is not as effective but goes away and people can't see it, that's kind of an interesting thing. Or I can make it more powerful and work better for me, have better hip fire for it, but people can see it. That's an interesting give or take. And it's not just me flipping over to the different one. I get the stats that I want from it, but I can now modify it in a, in a way that helps me play my game style. So yes, James, I think it is something that people wanted. Maybe not all somebodies, but some somebodies. Think about the inclusive community, James, not just yourself. Yeah, we'll see Man. what happens. Anyway, basically they are saying the magnitudes have been uh, decreased and increased. The harmful have been decreased. The beneficial have been increased because it was pretty harmful. Like when you hit that slider to a certain point, it yeah. would die off. Uh, so they need to do something with that. Um, and then, of course, you know, blueprints have performance adjustments. Buy our stuff, please. Uh, adjustments that you'll never be able to get unless you buy the thing. So please don't make it pay to play because that's what scares me in the tuning. Yeah. Uh, that part scares me more than anything else in the tuning is that we could go to pay to play. Anyway, the actual weapon balancing. I do like this first one with the M M13. I love the M13. I've loved the M13 in every single game, but it's never had good damage. 
No, it was so, so annoying, annoying to get melted by someone with a Finnick further away than I could shoot them with the M13B. Yeah. Yeah, so the M13 increased the mid-range and increased upper, upper torso damage. Um, the cast-off, so this is the uh, AK. Uh, small damage reduction. It needed it. It was it was a little overpowered. I don't know by how small they mean there. Um, added additional long-range damage fall-off. I'm not sure if that was needed. It is a 7.62 weapon. Um, it didn't seem to shoot out that far anyway because the recoil was pretty bad. So not sure why they needed to do the damage drop off unless they're trying to make it more even to the rest of the assault rifles in the game. Um, Lockman 556 really needed a damage increase. I don't really understand why this semi auto fire rate was a big deal for yeah, them. The same with the so basically the Lockman's still going to be pointless um, unless they really bring the damage down to <clears throat> other weapons. Uh, the M4 semi-auto fire rate needed to be increased, but I think the M4 was the most balanced weapon they had. Yeah. So that that is their baseline. I think they need to baseline everything around that. Um, SCB-556, another one that was very balanced. Did not know about this single tap mod magazine attachment. Okay. Um, <laughs> the weapon will deal considerably less damage to the upper left leg. I want to know who figured that out. Yeah, congrats. Who said I aim. shot the right leg and it did this much, and then I shot the left leg and it did this much? Like, I have no idea how that was figured out, but kudos to the person that did that. Um, battle rifles. A lot of changes in the battle rifles, yeah. man. A lot of changes. They, I think they want this to be the battle rifle meta. Uh, decreased full auto head damage and torso damage. But that's a big one. That keeps it from being a meta, I think. Well, for the Lockman, it's on. Um, I think you're going to see it's on all of them. Um, they increased the semi-auto upper torso damage. They increased the semi-auto fire rate. Um, I think you're going to see with the increased damage of the torso semi-auto and the increased uh, fire rate, you're going to see more people using these as their support weapons or their long-range the, snipers. <clears throat> with the semi-auto fire, though. I know, but you can control it better. So I think you're going to see people tapping with these from longer range. They're not gonna. They're not gonna be using them up close like we were, because I mean the Tac V I was using as if it was an assault rifle, yeah, rather than a, than a battle rifle, where they want you to use it single shot from range, and there's that that um, damage trade off that you have. Uh, redo it, but here it is: reduced full auto recoil. Okay, battle rifles hit pretty hard, and now I'm reducing my recoil, makes it a little bit more of a laser beam. Depends on how much that decrease really is. Uh, increased damage on long range. Again, I think that goes back to the single tap. The longer the range is, the single tapping, I can use this more as a marksman rifle. And then they added damage against, mi added minimum damage against armor. I don't really know what that means. Yeah, you're going to see that on all these as well. So I'm wondering if there was no, I, I wonder if this is the balance out the damage to AI. Something was going on with battle rifles and AI damage. The worst gun in the game, FTAC <laughs> Recon. Yeah. Cannot use that fucking thing. Um, again, decreased, sped up the uh, decreased upper torso. Something was going on with the upper torso there. Man. Yeah, but you called People out a lot dropping. of those headshots too, so. Yeah. Well, so here's the, the upper torso problem too is a lot of... A lot of what people use aimbot lock on now is the yeah. upper torso. So... Yeah, it's going to hurt them a little bit, too. Um, I'm not going to mention any names who's using those uh, aim bots because we don't know who they are, but there's you know some high-profile people that are known to be really good yeah. at locking onto the upper torso. Um, sped up ADS times, which I, I think it definitely needs uh, because, this is, again, this is a battle rifle. It's not a marksmanship rifle. Uh, reduce the full auto recoil. Increased close-range damage distance. So your distance for close range was increased, so it doesn't work as well. So like you got to be a little bit farther away from somebody. Increased lower torso damage multiplier. Um, cool. So you can shoot people in the legs now. Uh, added minimum damage to against armor, and that's pretty much how it goes down. The big one is the TAC V here. Uh, the TAC V was one of the more meta guns. Um, decreased the mid range damage they needed to. I, I mean, I could melt people mid range. Increased the semi-auto torso damage. Didn't use it in semi-auto. Didn't know there was a problem there. Um, reduced the semi-auto leg damage. Wish I knew that. Decreased full auto head damage. Decreased full auto head damage twice. Yeah. 
Two times. They want to really decrease that head damage. But I again, you said it. I called out. There's a headshot multiplier problem going on. Um, and you'll see it through this whole thing. The headshot, they they decreased a lot. Um, handguns. The X-13 uh, auto, I think this was the, the Akimbo uh, nerf yeah. here. Um, launchers, don't give a crap. Just skip over all of that. Yeah, they're just fun. Yeah. Light machine guns, RPK! Small reduction. Small reduction in ADS movement speed. Okay. Reduction in mid and long range damage. That's what they needed to do. Yeah. A reduction in all damage ranges. So it's yeah. not going to shoot as far. Rest in peace, RP gay for this season. And then small increase in the ADS time, which they needed. It was a very slow weapon. But here's the thing. Rail, increased recoil. Okay, the rail was almost was pretty much almost as powerful as the RPK. So I think you're going to see the Cronus players playing with the rail. Yeah, because they don't have any recoil and recoil. no damage got <clears throat> changed. So I think you're going to see the rail being kind of the, the rail. The rail is going to be the telltale. So it's almost like they could use this to bait people too. If if they were if they were any more strict with their anti cheat as I wish that they were. This would be such a tell sign. You're using the rail. If you no see people recoil. rolling with the rail, I would be very questionable if they beam you with it. Especially one completely modded out. Because they had a lot of fucking recoil to begin with. And they're increasing that. So. Okay. Marksmanship rifles. Here we go. EBR. Let's start to become meta at the end. Yeah. A lot so of people are using the EBRs. Faster than the snipers, so. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, you, you could double tap a lot. And I think this is how they're trying to balance out the snipers with all of these guns getting their semi-auto rates kicked up and all that kind of stuff. They're trying to move you into these marksmanship rifles and stuff. Um, increase upper torso damage and, again, added minimum damage against armor. I, I'm feeling something was going on with the the armor here. I don't, I don't, I really would like to know what that means. If someone knows what this really means, can you leave it in the comments, please? Um, LMS didn't really use it, but doesn't seem like they changed a lot. And then TAC M. Again, all three really though, use using it. that minimum damage against the armor added minimum yeah. damage. Not sure. Melee. Is this where you wanted to talk about yeah, melee? Melee, here? I thought was interesting because here they increased non lunging melee damage range. Allows players to hit equipment on the ground with melee while crouched. I like that. So I can take out things if I crouch, kind of get to the side, I can melee them and take them out. But melee attacks with non-melee weapons will now require three hits to kill a fully armored enemy instead of two. That, to me, is huge. That's a great change, because, man, we can start dropping in some places. Not but again, down. fully armored. That's yeah, going to be three hits. plates. Yeah, three plates, fully armored, three hits. Still faster than a sniper. Yeah. <laughs> uh, submachine gun. Uh, so the Vaz uh, has reduced uh, the Vaznez, or I guess that's how you use Vaznev. Vaznik. 9K. Um, Vaznev. Reduced mid to long range damage. They needed to do that. That thing shot really far away. Um, you're also going to see some meta changes here, probably in the CDL with that one. Um, Mini bank reduced the damage ranges. I mean, the mini bank was again another terror. All of this reduction makes sense because up close it was huge. The Fennec, I love this. Decreased over damage overall. Decreased headshot All damage of it. and headshot damage and added minimum damage against armor. Again, not sure. What now, that what's means. true? It, it makes me think maybe it does have something to do with the AI because man, I'd roll in with a mini bank or Fennec and melt a player in a second. We'd go into a stronghold, and I couldn't take down a guy. With the whole clip. Yeah, I, again, I, I I don't know exactly. That's how I'm reading it, so I'm guessing there. Uh, I can already tell you the meta in subs already is going to be that Latchman. Lockman, Latchman, the MP5. MP5, yeah. yeah I, no I use the MP5 anyway. I was already I used... using the MP5 because for a controller player, I think it was easier to control than the Finnick. And I, I, I used the Vasnev or the MP5. Yeah, I didn't use the Finnick a lot. I got away so, from that pretty quick. No changes for the MP, MP5, so I, th I think that jumps off the page real quickly. But I think that's also was your, like, M4 uh, for subs. It was kind of your overall balance yeah. weapon because it did have a slow fire rate 
So you had to hit the shots and, and you couldn't make up for it. Whereas the Fennec and the mini bank and the Vaznev, the fire rate was just so high up there that you could miss a couple shots and still be okay. Sniper rifles. Everyone was hoping for one tap snipers. They did nothing. All they did was change the signal 50. Signal 50. And I love this, like reduce the signal 50 already had terrible bullet velocity. And now you're de like decreasing it even more. Like I'm not understanding. Um, reduce the long range damage. It already doesn't one tap, so why are you yeah, reducing like, the damage? I don't, I don't understand that one at all. I was like, that's confusing. I mean, maybe it brings it in line speed with the other snipers. Speed slow anyway. I guess it's just bringing it down to be in range of the other snipers. Maybe. But you 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 you've taken all snipers out of the game. Like I, I personally think you're just unless someone comes up with some crazy build or something's broken or there's a hidden change that's not in the notes, which is very possible. Um, the sniper play is broken. Uh, you might as well go with one of these, um, you know, long range weapons anyway. Um, or long range weapons, uh, marksmanship rifles or battle rifles. Vehicles. Uh, well, you got attachments, reduce the ADS penalty for bipods. Yeah, the sniper attachments. Um, and then fix the issue with choke attachments, scaling hip spread incorrectly. Didn't know that was a problem, but. Choke attachment would be on For shotguns. Uh, shotguns. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good night. See ya. James E.